coming up in this video. You better hurry up and shut that thing off. Those old things emit crazy frequencies. Okay, let me try and figure this out. <gasps> what was that? Must just be an air pocket or something. It'll be fine. I don't know about that. They're screaming in the main cabin. Flight 312, departing for New York, JFK. Now boarding at gate 23. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. How may I help you? I'm flying all the way to London today. You know, England. Yes, ma'am. We all are. Can you check and see if you have room for one more passenger? Well, we do have a wait list, but it looks like I have an opening. Can I get a last name? That's great! Last name is Whiskers. W-H-I-S-K-E-R-S. -S. Okay, how unusual. And what's the first name? Um, Mr. No, ma'am, not the prefix, the first name. Mr. is his first name, and also the prefix. Okay, Mr. Mr. Whiskers. Country of residence? United States. He lives with me. Okay, USA. Is that also a US passport? No US passport. He's British. British passport. Very good. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't understand. He doesn't have a passport at all. Well, ma'am, you can't travel internationally without a passport. They won't let him into England, and they won't let him back into the United States. Since when does a cat need a passport? Sheesh! A cat? You want to buy a ticket for a cat? No, it's not just a cat. It's a very special cat. It's a British short hair. British short hair or not, it's still a cat. In order to take it into the UK, it's going to have to go through a procedure. I'm sure the Queen will make an exception. After all, it's British. Well, ma'am, I am sure that these are arrangements you need to make in advance. We're about to board. What do you expect me to do? You should wait, like all the other passengers, and enjoy your flight to England. I can't believe Mr. Whiskers has to stay home. Flight 451, Sydney, Australia, now arriving at Gatesburg. How did that go, Grandma? You were right. They won't let Mr. Whiskers fly. I told you. The cat's gonna be fine while we're gone. Well, I'm glad you're worried about him like I am. He's in danger with Grandpa. I I'm sure he'll be fine. I mean, what does he have to do? What, uh, feed him and clean out his litter box once a day? How is he going to get the recipes right? He doesn't even cook for us. Uh, wait, you cook the cat's meals. You need to learn how to take care of somebody, physically and emotionally. That's why we're flying to England. We're flying to London to get a companion for Little Whiskers, but what does that have to do with physical and emotional? First, he only likes it when you call him Mr. Whiskers. Second, we're flying to London to get another British short hair. It's an emotional support animal. Wait, you're getting your animal an emotional support animal? Totally Flight 212 with service to London Heathrow will be boarding shortly. You act like Mr. Whiskers doesn't have feelings. What if somebody treated you like that? It's a cat! You're lucky you both are in my will. The cat's in the will? Oh, I have a phone call. <gasps> How's my favorite guy? Say hi to Grandpa for me. Shh! Don't interrupt. How's Grandpa treating you, Mr. Whiskers? The cat called you? Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna bring your little buddy back. I miss you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Say bye to Grandpa for me, and I'll call you from England. Um, Grandma? Your phone won't work in England. What do you mean? This is only five years old. I'm pretty sure they've had phones in England longer than that. I got a European SIM for my phone. Your phone doesn't even use one of those. What do you mean? My phone does texting and everything. <sighs> Look, you need a smartphone, like my iPhone. You put a SIM card in it, and it'll work in Europe. Oh, you mean like one of those iPhone 14s I've been hearing about? That's the 13, and that just uses a soft SIM, so you don't need a SIM card for Europe. I need to get one of those. 
because I need to talk to Mr. Whiskers several times a day or he won't be all right. Well, you can't get one right now. They're sold out everywhere. But besides, we're in an airport right now. What about that girl right there? She's got one and she's in the airport. She probably got it somewhere else. Well, we'll see about that. Karen is taking a trip and needs to stay in touch with her cat, but it looks like her phone won't work in England. As a reminder, your phones should be on airplane mode throughout the duration of the flight. And please be advised that cell service in England may require a new SIM card. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm flying to England, how about you? Oh, I think we all are at this gate. You know, that phone won't work in London. Oh no, this is the new iPhone 13. It has an eSIM. Oh, iPhone 13. I've been meaning to get one of those. Yeah, they're hard to get. They're pretty much sold out everywhere. I need to get one before our plane takes off. Where in the airport did you get it? This? Oh, I was on a waiting list. Why don't you just get a SIM card for your phone? Well, this is my phone. My grandson said it won't take a SIM card, even though it's only five years old. Yeah, he's definitely right. You should just use a payphone when you're over there. They have the cutest little red ones you can take photos in. <laughs> you don't understand. I have to be available for someone back home at all times. It's very important. Uh, you could just buy a smartphone over there. I don't want one of those. They probably don't even work the same. Can I just buy yours? You know, they have iPhones over there. Why don't you just buy one when you're in England? You know what? That's a great idea. Why don't you sell me yours and you can buy one when you get there? No, I can't sell you this one. I need it for Oxford. Karen tried to buy the new iPhone 13 from Jessica, but unfortunately, she isn't willing to sell it. What's she going to do now? Please stand by for your boarding row to be announced. I can't believe it. What happened, Grandma? I tried to get that girl to sell me her phone. Why would she sell you her brand new phone? Because I need it. And she could probably get another one in England. Then why don't you get one there? Isn't the answer obvious? Well, you never know with a Karen. Now, I've told you before, only my friends call me Karen. Call me Grandma. All right, Grandma. So why can't you buy a phone in England? Because Mr. Whiskers won't have my phone number. Passengers, please line up based upon your boarding class. This plane's half empty. I can't believe they won't take Mr. Whiskers. He doesn't have a passport. He doesn't need a passport. Yes, I know, he's a cat. He's a British short hair. That's not a nationality, that's a breed. Oh, hi, it's you again. Oh, hi, it's the flip phone lady. <laughs> Looks like we're sitting together. All the way to London. Yes, all 10 hours, we're gonna have so much fun. Oh, uh, I plan on trying to get a lot of sleep, but let me get up for you. Oh, that won't be necessary. Come on, Junior. Uh, uh it's Connor. Oh. oh, let me hold that for you. Oh. Thanks. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh. Okay. There you go. Welcome to flight 212 to London. Please ensure that all your personal belongings are either stowed in the overhead compartment above you or in the seat back below in front of you. Make sure your tray tables are in the upright locked position and that your seat backs are all the way forward. At this time, please make sure that your seat belts are securely fastened and that your phones are turned on to airplane mode. Make sure daddy gives you two meals a day and brushes out your fur. Connor, airplane mode. Oh, oh right. And make sure he gives you a warm, bowl of milk before bed. You too. If I have to put my phone on airplane mode, so do you. No, I don't. And why is that? Because my phone doesn't have an airplane mode, so I can still use it. Uh, Grandma, that's not how it works. Well, my phone doesn't even have an airplane button. Take a look. Your phone won't even work up there. There's no reason to even have it on. Can I use your phone while we're up there? Why my phone? Because you have an iPhone 13. Mine won't work while we're flying. Excuse me, miss? Uh, yes? 
You need to put your phone in airplane mode. Okay, setting it right now. And you, ma'am, you also have to put your phone in airplane mode? Hang on, baby. No, I don't have to do that. Why do you think that? It doesn't have an airplane mode. The rule doesn't apply. Oh, really, ma'am? Let me see the phone. Okay, but I need this back for medical reasons. Make sure Grandpa brushes you out. Hey, Sandra. Where do we stow these? What is that, like a children's toy? No, it's from the woman in 26B. It's a phone. You better hurry up and shut that thing off. Those old things emit crazy frequencies. Okay, let me try and figure this out. <gasps> what was that? Must just be an air pocket or something. It'll be fine. I don't know about that. They're screaming in the main cabin. Well, I don't know, but... Fly crew, there's some sort of uh, interference coming from the main cabin. Can you check and see if somebody's using electronic equipment? It's gotta be that old crappy phone. I can't get it to shut off. Take that up to the captain. I'm gonna go calm the passengers down. Okay. Passengers, we've turned on the fasten your seatbelt sign. No need to worry, just a little bit of turbulence. What is that? It's just turbulence, Grandma. I don't know, but it's making me air sick. Yes, ma'am, can I help you? I'm gonna need my phone back. Ma'am, why do you need your phone back? Because I have to say goodbye to Mr. Whiskers. I can't go out like this. What? I assure you, ma'am, we're gonna land safely. How do you know that? Because I wouldn't have come to work today. Wait, aren't you the one with the old-fashioned phone? My phone is great. It even gets a signal way up here. Ma'am, we're gonna have to give you your phone back when we land. It may be interfering with the aircraft operations. That's ridiculous. In my day, aircraft didn't have these silly electronics. Grandma, that's just the way it is now. Excuse me, I know that the seatbelt light is on, but would it be okay if I used the bathroom? I'm feeling a little sick. Yes, I'll make an exception this time, but please return to your seat as soon as possible. Oh, thank you so much. What happened with the phone? The captain took care of it. Oh, I mean, he must have because the turbulence stopped. That's because he got rid of it. Really? Where did it go? Well, my guess would be somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Well, it's not like he can open a window and throw it out. I mean, how did he get rid of it? He said he used door number two, if you know what that means. Please prepare for landing. Make sure your tray tables are stowed and in the locked position and your seat backs are forward and your seat belts are securely fastened. Passengers, we know you have a choice in what airline you fly, so thank you for flying Totally Air and have a pleasant stay in London or wherever your travels may take you. Have you guys seen my phone? Well, yes, I have. Oh, great. Where is it? How would I know? Because you said you saw it. Yeah, you showed it to me. It's an iPhone 13. I really want one of those. Well, did you look around the seat? There's been a lot of turbulence. You know what? That's a great idea. Why don't you two get off the flight, and I'm going to stay on and keep looking. OK. Enjoy London. Oh, there you are, miss. You're the last one to deplane. Yes, I was looking for my phone. Well, nobody has turned anything in yet. Can I direct you to the lost and found? Yes, if I have to. But is there a phone I can use? I'd like to call it. Well, not officially, but you can use mine. Oh, thank you so much. <sighs> Nothing. Would it be too much to ask if I rang it again and then ran on the plane to check? I'm sorry, ma'am. Regulations say that I can't let you back on the plane. But I'll tell you what. Yeah? 
If you ring it again, I will go back on the plane and check. That would be so great. It's ringing. Ma'am, the lost and found is right over there. Thanks, but I think I already found it. Pretty soon I'm gonna bring you home Mrs. Whiskers. Excuse me, what are you doing with that iPhone 13? Excuse me, I'm on the phone. Make sure there's no fur balls while I'm gone. That's my phone! Is there anything we can do? Yes. Ma'am, I need to talk to you. Yes. Bye bye, I'll talk to you later. What is it? This passenger says you have her phone. This is my iPhone 13? If it was hers, how would I be able to make a call? Oh, miss, she does have a point. She was seated right next to me. She obviously spied on my passcode on the plane. I'm gonna go get security. You two wait right here. What's all this about a stolen iPhone now? This lady tried to buy my iPhone from me in the LA airport and then when I was on the flight, she stole it from me when I went to the bathroom. No, I didn't. I bought this here in the airport. Where? Well, you know, they sell just about everything here at Heathrow. Can you prove it's yours? Well, it's mine, obviously. She needs to prove it's hers. Ah, she may be right. Let me see that phone. Okay, but I'm expecting an important call. I need it back. Hmm, now how do you unlock this thing anyway? Facial recognition. Oh, I guess it works. Well, my face will unlock it too. Well, there's one sure way to rectify this. Settings, general. And, uh, um, ma'am, what's your name? Karen Reynolds. And miss, what would your name be? Jessica Bridgestone. Well, it looks like Karen Reynolds is going to Scotland Yard with me. You're under arrest. Miss, here's your phone. Just because you want something doesn't mean you're entitled to it. Remember, stealing is never a good way to get what you want. <laughs>